थैंक यू चेयरपर्सन फॉर द इंट्रोडक्शन एंड थैंक यू डॉक्टर बंसी साबू एंड दी डाई केयर कॉन टीम फॉर इन्वाइटिंग मी हियर बिफोर आई गो टू द टॉपिक आई जस्ट रियलाइज टूडे मॉर्निंग वॉट इज द बिगेस्ट ड्रॉबैक ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सो आई वॉज अंडर इम्प्रेशन दैट आई हैव टॉक टू मोरो मॉर्निंग एंड दैट इज द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ बींग सो मच रिलेक्टेंट और रिलाइंग ऑन द टेक्नोलॉजी यू जस्ट फॉरगेट द थिंग्स यू ब्रेन डजेंट वर्क सो जस्ट हाफ एन आवर बैक आई वॉज टोल दैट माई टॉक इज टूडे Uh, that's why i requested dr navneet to you know take it first so now we'll uh, go to the topic now uh, i'll be speaking on emr and as again as i said i, I had to prepare the slides uh, in 15 minutes so there is not much that i can talk but i'll give you some demo of the emr that i use so that probably you can uh, get a glimpse of different features of emr so uh, the history and perspective of medical records is that the data can be uh, organized as patient centered or physician centered so the patients will come to you with a file that is having all his records a physician has to you know segregate the data depending on his requirement it can be you know oriented uh, based on chronology so patients will come to you with the reports which are you know arranged date wise that is that is one way of arranging the records second is department wise the file of nephrology the file of diabetology file of cardiology the third one will be problem oriented so these are the different ways the data can be organized now the earliest medical records were physician oriented because uh, the doctors were the ones who used to care of the data patients didn't bother much hippocrates said it over 25 years ago that the medical records should accurately reflect the course of disease and indicate the possible cause of disease now before the era of this widespread diagnostic testing and therapeutics earlier the medical data was actually only the observations that the physician made but now uh, we have advanced and we have so many tools and gadgets are on hand now electronic health records is a different term and emr is one of the components of ehr the emr is the software that we use for recording our own patients data we will not go into the details of other things like patient registry or patient management system or his which is used by the hr department of the hospital so the problem oriented medical records were proposed for the first time by weed in 1969 and he suggested that all entries should be categorized into these categories the first one is subjective so what the patient reports to you in his history in the complaints and uh, you know whatever he tells you about his findings the objective uh, will be the data that you collect based on your own observations and then assessment is what do you assess your diagnosis and in the plan what do you plan to uh, intervene what do you want to give the patient as advice so this is the most common uses of entire uh, you know in, uh, this is the most common uses it to have entire encounter organized by so format not individual problems now in modern day medical records it's a mixture of patient and problem oriented approaches so your data can be any time retrieved uh, the way you want it or you can hand over to the patient as he wants it in general each provider or institution maintains its own records and the creator of the record is the owner as of now is it still uh, though uh, you know that's a debatable topic because the patients can always claim that everything that is theirs is uh, the data that is from their own records is theirs so it is still predominantly paper based and many of us are using a hybrid system even in my own uh, case i still have the paper records uh, of my patients and then i am trying to shift to electronic records since last 5 6 years but i am keeping both of them in parallel so as of now it's a hybrid mode that we are using so in the emr uh, we get the data from these various sources the medical history that the patient gives the physical examination that you do the medical records that the patient brings to you the lab tests that you do uh, the family data community data and all those things and then you gather all this data integrate it and then you analyze the data based on your own uh, you know clinical judgment and uh, give the advice to the patient you can communicate that data to the patient uh, to your colleagues you can make the diagnostic test or therapy based on this uh, data that you analyze so uh, there are several limitations of paper based record it's a single user and only one person can see the record at a time you can't uh, you know see it uh, many people can't see it at the same time it's usually disorganized so in uh, complex patients we often find that the patient comes with a file doctor saw file dekh lijiye but it's very difficult for us to you know uh, uh, juggle through the papers and find out the right paper that we want it's usually incomplete the exact thing that you want is always missing so all my patients uh, they don't have one thing that i always want that is the sugar chart they always say doctor wo to bhul gaye ghar pe baki sab hai 10 saal purana record lekin sugar chart leke nahi hai so uh, they usually uh, they are usually not complete and then you can't do the audit because there is no trail available uh, 
it's a source of infection recently realized because in corona we have been all taught not to touch anything which is not uh, necessary so it's also a source of infection and hand handwriting uh, i i thought it's only probably of india but probably it's the uh, global problem so these kind of handwritings we often see and we don't uh, you know we can't comprehend what is to be done with this so still patients come to me doctor sahab ye dawai chal rahi hai now i always tell him ki tu hi bata dawai kya chal rahi hai angrezi mein likhiye padh ke bata de kya likhiye so it is so bad uh, and that is the major problem that uh, you can i don't know whether it was intentional to you know keep the patient with you only that you write some symbols and the patient comes back to you nobody else can understand but this is still there so uh, then uh, keeping the records even my files are like this only so these are stored like this and then it's very difficult to you know find out the right file that you want and to keep them safe from uh, you know different problems is very difficult so it's the right time that we go from paper to digital and there are several options available to you there are so many i just listed a few here uh, but there are probably hundreds of emr softwares which are available in india uh, you might have to try one or two to find out which one suits you best but then uh, this is a very tricky thing because uh, once you stick to one emr it becomes really difficult to change to uh, the next one because uh, since last 5 6 years i am using one particular emr now even if i have better options available i can't shift there because all my data is in that emr and then you know shifting that data from one emr to the other is really difficult so in the next few slides i'll just give some screenshots of the emr that i use in my clinic so the emr basically has got a different uh, you know Uh, users that you can have you can have a uh, uh, login for your front desk the receptionist uh, another login for your lab one for yourself one for the admin of the hospital or the clinic that you have uh, one for the pharmacy these all options are there they all would have their own credentials they can log in and they can access only the thing that they are supposed to access then uh, this is the example of the Uh, dashboard of the front desk so in the front desk my uh, staff would be able to see the list of patients that are there he can enter the patient he can uh, book the appointment for the next visit he can bill the patient look at his past visits enter the lab data all those things and uh, he does that outside in the front desk the patient enters in my chamber and then i get to see this dashboard so on my dashboard i will see the list of patients that are scheduled for today the patients which were already done the patients who are waiting so these things can be seen uh, at the doctor's dashboard after that uh, suppose you have the patient who has come to you for the first time in diabetes practice we'll always uh, like to have the whole uh, history of the patient recorded for the first time so this is the patient case sheet i couldn't take the whole screenshot but it's lengthy one where you can record the whole history of the patient the history of diagnosis of diabetes the history of medication allergies family history smoking diet lifestyle everything can be recorded once once you record it it remains there for you know for uh, next visits you can always review back the case history of the patient the patient who has come to you for follow up so this patient has come for the 16th visit so uh, once i open the patient i'll see the last visits and if i scroll down i'll see all the visits uh, the previous visits the medicines that were given the complaints that the patient had the you know changes in the vitals all those things can be seen and then uh, for recording the next visit you just click on the create uh, sorry yeah create new visit option sorry okay some picture is missing here so you create the uh, new visit here and after that the page opens which will ask you to enter the vitals of the patient the blood pressure weight uh, sugar readings uh, the complaints that the patient has now and it will auto populate the medicines that the patient is already on so if you don't want to change the medicines you don't waste time you just uh, click print and the medicines will be printed in case you want to make changes on a particular drug you just change that medicine so it saves a lot of time you don't need to write down the whole 10 12 uh, medicines ka list at uh, every time every visit uh again uh, that point is missing because the slide is missing so again at the end you have uh, the option to uh, schedule the next visit of the patient a particular date so that the patient gets the reminder on that particular day you also have that patient's name in the list of the upcoming patients you can have uh, you know some advices which are uh, usually given to patients you can you know pre print them like the dietary advice the lifestyle advice the exercise advice the advice regarding hypoglycemia or food care or smg monitoring so whichever patient you want to give the particular advice you can just click on that button and that will be automatically written written so these are various features uh, for the doctors uh then the patient goes to the lab and then there is a portal for uh, the lab assistant who can just uh, select the patient that has gone to the doctor he will directly get the advice uh, the uh, lab test that were advised and he can just enter those lab test and take the patient for the lab then similarly there is a module for pharmacy also so if you prescribe some medicines the patient goes to pharmacy the pharmacist already knows that these are the medicines that are prescribed he just have to tick it and then uh, he can just make the bill of the patient for the medicines <coughs> then there are so many 
other options for uh, the uh, report analysis. You can analyze the report based on the patient's uh, visits to your hospital, the follow-up visits, how many are coming back, how many are not coming back, patients who are missing their appointments, uh, the SMSs that were sent to patients, lab reports that were done, and there is so much that you can do. You can actually analyze uh, most of the data that you want to use for publications or do research of your own patients. I don't have the screenshots right now, uh, but then you can analyze your data based on whatever hypothesis you have. So you want to analyze only the data of patients between the age group of 18 to 35 and then you get the whole data of the patients you can look for their A1Cs, uh, their uh, medicines that they are on, the timing of insulin or the you know initiation of insulin, those things you can analyze depending on your hypothesis. And this is again a dashboard that gives you overall snapshot of uh, you know the same thing that I told the number of patients who are coming to you, the follow patients, the medicines that you are prescribing, the companies of medicines that you are prescribing. We even forget the name of the company that we are prescribing. Only after looking at them, then I understand. Okay, I'm prescribing this company most. So this kind of uh, info you can get. So there is so much of uh, there are so many advantages. Uh, the most important is that the data is available at one place. So at your own dashboard, you have the data about everything the patient's demographic, patient's medicines, patient's lab test, all those things are there. You can anytime, you know, review the data chronologically, you can uh, uh, review it condition-wise, doctor-wise, it can be shared with others, uh, the uh, apps allow those things. It saves a lot of paper and money, so saving a paper definitely saves the environment, money is definitely saved, less manpower is required, you don't require large amount of space because uh, my medical records uh, for last 10 years are stored in cupboards like this and it's occupying a lot of space. Now the, the data from last five, six years is just in the computer. So it saves a lot of space also. Accounting, inventory, all those things are made very easy. It's easy for a doctor to review the previous records of the patient when he comes to you. The, uh, you don't need to juggle through the patient's file. The vitals, lab tests, prescriptions, all are at one place. You can put those things. The prescriptions get auto-populated. Uh, it suggests the medicines that uh, the patient is already on and you might make the changes easily. The software also warns you about obvious mistakes. Sometimes you might do a mistyping and then there might be two drugs which are having some interactions. The software will tell you that there is a prescription in which uh, there are two drugs, there might be an interaction and then you might give it a second thought. So it's very useful for data analysis, for doing research of your own data and publishing that data. There are a few challenges in India. So the first one is availability of resources. So as of now, uh, still uh, even among the clinics, uh, many clinics do not have the computer or uh, laptop. Even if they have, they have it only for the uh, reception desk, only for the billing purpose. They don't use for the EMR or for doctor's own uh, use. The lack of IT training, or I would say inertia. There are so many seniors here, and uh, one of them is sleeping, a good friend of mine, Dr. Mehendi Ratta. Uh, the another challenge uh, is that the senior doctors, the senior friends of mine, they are so used to writing with the pain that they don't like to type. So uh, even if you give them an EMR, they might uh, be able to type, but they feel ki mujhe achha hi lagta hai aur wo likhe bina maza nahi aata patient dekha lagta hi nahi hai so that is also one challenge and to solve that challenge some people have come up with a emr system where you use the pen and that will capture your handwriting and translate that into the medical records so uh, i think we need to motivate people to go to emr and I, we need to train them in you know uh, and there is a generational issue definitely uh, though they are my friends but they are of this different generation and then there is a concern of uh, data safety so all our patients, doctors, they are all concerned like uh, even though most of us are using EMRs, so we are not sure whether the data is being misused by the software companies, being it sold to pharma companies or other companies. And there can be legal issues because when it's a paper data, paper document, you can always modify it. You made a mistake, but you have option that I can just tear up that paper. But once it is in the record, then uh, that possibility is not there. So what, are, what is the way ahead? The most important is uh, training and probably uh, to motivate other colleagues of ours to go to EMR and train them. Look for better options. Uh, the softwares are definitely improving very fast in the last five, six years and maybe there is a better uh, future that we have. Uh, the data safety and security must be ensured. There must be some guidelines and some legal framework which ensures that the data is safe uh, with the patient themselves. So, I'll uh, conclude by saying that EMR is the ultimately geared, uh, EMR is ultimately geared towards reducing the errors, improving safety and care, and cutting cost of healthcare. And as I, doc as Dr. Uh, as Albert Einstein said uh, long back, we can't solve the problems by using the same kind of thinking we used to when we created them. So we all created the problems with, uh, you know, the paper data. I think let's move ahead to electronic data. Thank you.